Hello everyone, it is I, Zyap Guy. Uh, I make Generations. And today we will be playing versions of Generations from the past. This version is Generations Beta Test 0.5.1. This is the first working public version. There used to be an option called Select Time where you would select the time you, that you would play. We planned on adding Bronze Age and stuff like that. The scope was different. Let's play Stone Age for now because there is no Bronze Age. Now, first thing you might notice is the hand. Uh, what we basically wanted to do was we wanted to emulate uh, actually collecting stuff, but I don't think this was the best way to do it. There is some horrible motion blur. Either the game is running really bad or there is motion blur. Nope, it's running at 60 FPS. Ew. Uh, stone looks like, um, I'd rather not say it. There's logs. You cannot chop down trees. These are all unity trees. I mean, you can walk up to them. You can hit them. The hitting animation is so delayed. Like, listen to this. Listen to this and listen to this. It stops, uh, the walking animation. Like, it starts playing when the walking animation is over. It's kinda embarrassing. The terrain is not very detailed. It's actually not detailed at all. I don't understand what is what. There's this bush here that I can jump on top of. Uh, you can see the light lighting glitches. That's actually a problem with Unity 5. <laughs> Let's collect some more stuff. I don't think stuff collection was made with ray casts. I think I did a really stupid system. Where if you were inside of an object's hitbox, it collected it. This uses the regular Unity uh, controller. Oh, that's great. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. Uh, I don't know if you can sleep in this version. Let's see. No, you can't sleep. Now, I think this is the crafting menu. As you can see, when I open the crafting menu, I can still move around. Oh god. <laughs> I can't craft anything because I don't think I unlocked them. Yeah, stone working, woodworking. Let's try to unlock woodworking for this version and make an item. There used to be a volcano up there. I think it's still there, but yeah, there were a lot of plans that just went undone because uh, the game was cancelled. I mean, this version was cancelled, not the game itself. As you can see, no full damage. I did add health, but I don't think it's in this version. Can you sleep in this cave? I remember where you could sleep in one cave, but not another. This is probably my worst programming moment, because look at this, like... Do I have to explain <laughs> why this is bad? Oh, I have one level. Let's unlock woodworking. Let's make a wooden axe. Maybe a wooden blade too? Yeah, yeah. And the inventory is just buttons that unlock. Wooden axe, let's equip it. At least there's weapons way, and at least I knew how to hook up animations. That's a start. Um, yeah, if you don't consider that. This part, I don't know why, actually I know why, it's so laggy. This actually, It's not actually 2 FPS, something's broken, but yeah. That part made with the big trees was made by a developer that is no longer associated with us. I'm not gonna say their name because I don't think they will quite enjoy me uh, criticizing their work at all. Uh, it, that's one of the reasons that they had to uh, go. Well, other than that, there's nothing much to say about this version. There's places to explore, but that's about it. There's places. There's really not much gameplay other than walking around. So I just suggest that we go on to uh, the last version of Generations Classic.
Whoop. This is the last public version of Generations Classic. I released this perhaps in maybe April or May. Let's play single player. Let's reset the latest world. I, I know what the latest world is. It, I, it was a test. The backdrop looks better than the actual game. That's a problem. Let's play. Um, normal difficulty is fine for me. The uh, pointer thing is broken. You have uh, things that you have to do. Things you have to complete. As you can see, the game runs at like 100 FPS. No, it's not because of rendering. It's not because of Unity being bad. It's not because my computer is bad. The only reason why this runs so slow is because my coding was terrible and I did a lot of bad practices. Now this thing, I'm not I'm not even going to start telling you what. You know what I'm going to tell you what this thing is. When I was experimenting with building, I basically made something where uh, this helped for something. I don't fully remember. As you can see, the graphics look far better. I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking, but still, the graphics, yep, that, that's a really good increase. No, oh, I already have all, uh, I already have a lot of items and stuff. There used to be something called a hub, I remember, it was the 0.7 update. And there's grass sounds now. I don't know if it's caption game audio. Let's unlock the hub. This is the hub. Doesn't hurt you. Yep, this was my uh, imagination of building. Not tired yet. <sighs> Amazing. Is there a console? Like, can I do give item? No, give. Can I do give with five? Oh, I can. Oh, that's cool. Total item. Oh, that's weird. Stone. Heck, God, there's a console. Well, um, let's play this a bit more thoroughly. Let's unlock a few things. Uh, let's craft every item. Because, I mean, why not? The stone hammer. Oh, this. This is the building menu of Generations Classic. It was never, ever shown to the public. Never. And there's probably a reason for that, to be fair. The reason I had to cancel this version is because of building. When I was making the game, I didn't know how to implement an actual save system. And I just saved everything to player prefs. And that causes issues, because player of prefs is saved in the registry. And the registry really shouldn't hold that much stuff. So it was impossible to send save files. By the way, this is the only type of build you can do. You can't do floors, you can't do stuff like that. You can only do this. I think. I remember there being an advanced build option. What you can do is you can rotate this. That was a cool idea I had. I don't know how cool it is now, but yeah, it was an idea. Well, technically, you can build the roofs, but it sucks. I think we should move on to a version of Generations that the public doesn't even know about. Let's move on to Generations Modern. Hello, editing Zayap guy here. I forgot one important version of Generations. I did two devlogs on this that are now unlisted. This is Generations Low Poly. You will understand why I cancelled it. Yeah. I mean, do I have to say anything? I believe it's quite obvious what, what the problem is here. Realistic physics. Yeah. Let's move on. Well, this is an interesting sight to see. It asks for a valid Generations license key. Oh! <laughs> uh, give me a minute. All 
right, I have found a valid license key. This is a valid license key. Generation special broken Zunaka edition. You happy? Well, it seems like I was not very... Uh, I, I was quite angry towards Zunaka when I made this build. I don't know what happened. I don't recall anything bad happening. But yeah. Settings. Let's go to settings. Oh, the settings made the game not full screen. Ah. No we sync. Uh, let's increase the FOV and no mods. Good. Credits? Nah. L let's not look at credits. Customize. I was thinking of something like Rust. I'm gonna uh, do my skin tone. Somewhere like this. Yeah. I'm gonna make it my character. Load game? No. Let's uh, create a new game. This one, the reason I call this Generations Modern is because it has modern UI elements. And I, I would say this is the most modern version. Now, animals. Oh, you can see yourself by the way in this version. FPS is quite fine. I would call this the most fun Generations. You cannot chop down trees, you can only chop down logs that are already spawned on the ground. There's a panther there, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me warn you, the panther... Oh no. I, I still remember it. Stamina disabled, god mode true, given stone. Does it recover stamina at least? can chop down these it uh, decreases it in size meaning that you have started chopping it down but the there being no crosshair really affects it though there's no building in this version there's an inventory there's a VIP a a work in progress crafting menu that barely works find one yeah let's go near some animals hello mr. bear Oh no. Uh, the AI is not coded very well. Let me tell you guys that. I'm just gonna kill this bear. The panther is a weird one. It's fast. It's really fast. Perhaps too fast. But no. You can still kill it, but I don't think you should try it without God mode enabled. This is actually the weirdest world of generations yet, because I used something called Terrain Composer 2 to make this. And I'm not the best with Terrain Composer 2, so yeah, it's quite bad. What made this bad is you can't chop down trees, trees are literally passed through. I worked on useless stuff before I worked on the actually useful important stuff like inventory. I called it the enemy AI before I started making a stamina system. So yeah, this failed because of that and I had to stop working on it. Let's switch to the next version called Generations Multi. Well guys, I thought I couldn't find it. I thought it would be impossible but Apparently, it is possible. This is Generations Multi. You guys probably never saw this. This was in the... When you get banned from Generations video. Let's play and survive. Let's create a world. Let's call it Generations Multi. Let's play. Create. <laughs> No fancy loading screens, it just stops working. <laughs> oh, that's great, like a billion errors. Yeah, that's probably fine. At least you have a player. You click the trees. I don't know why it's giving an error. Actually, uh... This version of Generations uses a rigid body player controller. Uh, what that means is basically this. This. 
and I didn't know how to fix it. This one actually, uh, this version of Generations actually really has a good inventory system. Like, I wouldn't call this bad at all. This is quite good. I know you can build in this version, but... Ah! This is one of the most sophisticated building things. Oh, apparently the version I'm playing is quite broken. That's sad, I, want, I really wanted to show you guys. Uh, you can't swim, of course not. You can't save. You can't even save, sorry. At least you can play multiplayer. I think my password was this. Oh, wait, yeah, the servers are down. You can never play this again. Quit to. <laughs> Let's quit to. Quit to doesn't work. Amazing. Well, we are playing a windowed version of Generations because I apparently couldn't add a menu. We will play multiplayer because. You know what, actually, let's play single player. Uh, testing. Oh, notice Generations is an early development. This means that save files might change heavily and might not be deserialized. If you don't want to lose your save files, please do not create a long lasting save that you will play on a lot. Only create saves for testing at this point of development, thanks. Let's create a world. Even this version seems so different to me. Um, yeah, that was a glitch. You can collect stuff. Uh, like, I can't mine this tree. Because, what would I mine it with? I can take a rock. And I can hit this with a rock. doesn't fall down, it just drops items, as the other generations did. Uh, you can see a character, but that won't last. Uh, that, that didn't uh, last long, it was quite hard and ruined everything. This is the weirdest creative, uh, this is the weirdest uh, crafting mini I've ever made. It honestly is the weirdest one I have ever made. Let's make a wooden hammer. If I need a few more saplings. Oops. Uh, oh, I have a crater inventory. I forgot. Let me take some saplings. Nope. Th those menus are really confusing. Not gonna lie. Uh, F? Ha. Huh. Let's create a wooden hammer. That, that, and that. But, uh,. Uh, wooden hammer. Breaks far more easily. Now this version actually uh, took a long time to release because it has some amazing features. Uh, some of them are... If I can close... Huh. It has a lot of items that you can use. Uh, let's go into that cave with our torch. That doesn't have any flames. Amazing. This version is... I mean, I like this m version far more than any other generations. Even the version I'm working on right now. But, yeah. Sadly, I have to, I had to scrap it due to multiplayer limitations. Didn't give me any... Uh, never mind. Yeah, it doesn't give me any stuff. I think it's broken. Uh-oh. In this version, I try to focus on the things that are most important. But I think I failed when I tried to implement multiplayer. Now that I have far more, no uh, I am far more knowledgeable on this. I think I can create a better generations version. After this version, we're gonna see the first look at uh, the new generations. Yep, this is basically generations. How about we take a look at new generations? New generations, guys. Now, the graphics, uh, they're not final, so you have nothing to worry about. The graphics will not look like this, they will look far more better and far more polished. 
until that day comes. Uh, welcome to new generations. Now, the FPS is a bit unstable. And I know, I know. Saeb guy, you have an amazing computer. And you barely get 60 FPS. How are we gonna get... Uh, how are we gonna get stable FPS on our bad computers, for example? Anyone who has bad com computers who's also watching this. Well... I don't know yet. I will create a, t a ton of optimizations, but yeah. Let's mine this uh, thing. Oh, drops a rock. And the best thing, I finally implemented falling trees. And we chop down a tree, it falls down. Tank, gosh. Drops an apple. Nom nom. Yeah. This version is pretty cool. But what's even cooler is what you can do in it. It has a great crafting system, in my opinion. Let's create some building plans, building hammer. Let's turn all the logs into planks. Maybe not all of them, but yeah, quite a bit of them. This is the building plans. Yes, you can build anywhere in new generations. Uh, I basically uh, got very inspired by the system in Rust. I actually have never played Rust. Generations is not based on Rust, but since the games are quite alike, I said why not make the building system uh, same, not not same, uh, a bit like Rust, yeah. It has a wheel menu like Rust. <laughs> Please don't sue me, ro uh, Rust. Um, yeah, let's build a small cabin here. Now, about the future of Generations, I really want to go further with Generations. Like, I will never give up on Generations, even if I don't make any devlogs for a year, like last time. I'm always working on some sort of Generations, and I will release this game. I promise to everyone watching, this game will be released. It won't be dead. No, no, no. But yeah. There is nothing much I can show you other than this small cabin I built. Hmm, it's floating. Let's fix that. That's holding it. The good thing about free building is you can put anything anywhere. Before I end the video, I would like to show you guys some graphical qualities of this. Don't mind this. Uh, set feather, let's say tree. Clouds. Clouds. Mm, I'm feeling seven. Dark, rainy weather. Mm, let's do some eight. Mm. Yeah. That's basically generations and its history. Yeah, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, uh, this was a very weird video to make because I don't really play games and I especially don't record myself playing them. Maybe you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy it and would like to see me play more games, please leave a comment. I would really like to hear you guys' ideas. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching. Sidekai out.